What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the Ostrich Show. I'm back with more Diamond Select Toys Lord of the Rings figures. So we have Wave 3 here that comes with Aragorn and Amoria Org. So we get two new additional figures for the wave, which are really cool. And I think at least one much needed character of Aragorn, you always got to have an Aragorn. And I think he looks really good there. And then we also get this thrown in Amoria Org that you can see there and it comes with some additional stuff. So you can kind of like army build these and make them look different. So that'll be cool. And I do have more than one, so I will show you the differences. And then of course we get more build a figure pieces to do that build a figure of Sauron which I think with these we do have all the pieces now to build the Sauron so that'll be really cool we can do that at the end of the video as well but I thought we wouldn't be done yet because I know there's at least one more wave announced than I have ordered so I'm surprised we're already finished with the Sauron but that'll be cool to look at as well but there are two figures there of Aragorn and the Moria Org and then of course the build a figure of Sauron down there and our past wave so we'll have to throw them all together here but these all look really cool and I'm excited to open these I'm really liking these Lord of the Rings figures so I'm excited to open them and take a look at these ones so let me go ahead and get them open we'll check them out together so let's start with aragorn also known as strider the chieftain of the duodanes isildur's heir and the king of gondor so this is an awesome looking figure of aragorn here played by vigo mortensen so there's his face i think the face looks pretty good i like the beard design and just the overall face looks good with the hair hanging down looks pretty good overall but he's got his normal aragorn outfit on so he has like this leather tunic on with a shirt underneath he has the necklace around his neck that arwen gives him and his leather coat over the top of it that hangs all the way down he's got a knife and a sword on his belt I like him like his gauntlets. He's got the tree Gondor tree there, which looks pretty cool. Those on both sides, the leather glove on one hand. He's got a ring on the other hand. Again, the belt around his waist with the two weapons on it. And I like how, which I noticed in the movie, which I always thought was weird, the belt, they have the extra long leather. So they take it and like wrap it around a couple times and then it hangs down in the front. Then he's just got the leather pants on underneath and the shin high leather boots. It's overall just a really cool design. And I think it looks exactly like Aragorn. So I think they did an awesome job here. So for movements, the head can twist a little side to side again with the hair. It's going to be hard to get some movements but he can look down just about that far and up a little bit so very little movement in there because of the hair shoulders can come up 90 degrees and rotate all the way around we get a bicep twist a double elbow joint that can bend up that far and then the wrist can twist around and real stiff but can flex back and forth we have an ab crunch right in the midsection there so he can crunch back and forth there again with the jacket it's hard to get some movements but he crunch forward and back a little bit and then also twist around nothing at the waist or anything but we can go to the hips where the hips can come up under 90 degrees there and a little bit stiff just because of all the material around the hips there out to the side that far it does have a thigh twist up in there a double knee joint that can bend up that far in the back and then the foot can rock back and forth and can twist side to side so overall some of his joints are stiff and then he doesn't have the best movements. so these figures overall still don't have the greatest movements but i do think it's a little bit better especially compared like that first wave of figures but as i showed he does have the two weapons on him so he does have the dagger so we can go ahead and slide this out i'm afraid it's going to break especially how tight it is in there but it has a nice dagger probably some elven stuff with some writing on it there it looks pretty cool overall and his dagger we see him use in the movies and then he also has his sword which is just his main aragorn sword which looks cool nice handle and hilt and everything and the nice sword blade which is kind of all roughed up and it looks like it's got some material hanging off of it but it has the sheath that's already on his belt you can store the sword in there or take it out and put it into his hands now unfortunately he only has one grip hand the other hand just kind of like an open hand but i guess if you did it like this and if you could get his hands moved around there you could kind of make it look like he's double wielding it but then he also comes with the reforged narso of andrew so the sword he gets from Elrond in Return of the King. So the awesome looking sword. So it comes with this nice sheath design once again. But again, we have this that you can't attach on anything. So it's like with the ring rates, we got the sheaths and stuff, but you can't hang it on him or anything. So it just kind of comes with it. But you have this sword as well, which again is like his father's sword, reforged and everything with the writing on it down the center and stuff there. Looks pretty awesome. And of course, with this, he can command the army of the dead and stuff. So this is awesome. So let's put this in his hand. So there's Aragorn with the sword. Of course, it doesn't look too much different, but it is cool that we get that additional sword as well and finally he comes with a torch so a stick with a flame on the end of it so it could be like the torch when they go into the undead cave or when he fights on weather top and against the ring rates and throws it at one stuff so you can just take and slide this into his hand i think it's a little bit too big and like a little over dramatic you know with just like the orange flame it is see-through and stuff but just the orange flame but it does look cool and you can kind of hold it to try and you know pose it like he does to help fight off the ring rates or whatever but very cool overall like i said i wish he had an additional grip hand though instead of just like this open because i wish you could put like the sword sword in one hand and this in the other hand and stuff but unfortunately we don't have that so you have to just kind of pick and choose between the two and our other figure of the wave is the moria org so this is one of the orgs living within moria that killed the dwarves off led by balin and we see them attack the fellowship in balin's tomb so this is just like your standard looking org so i like how it has like the greenish color skin the weird looking face so you can see his 
out there. Misty nose, but he does have the nose holes, the eyes that are almost like cross-eyed, the big pointy ears. And then it's got the all like goblin armor or org armor, which there are orgs, but because they're living in the caves, I assume they could be wearing some goblin armor, but nice armor. And then the dark browns with like some shininess on the points and stuff look pretty awesome going all the way around. Got some chain mail there around his neck and around the arms. We can see some bare arms and then goes into some gloved hands. And then same with some chain mail and like skirty material and stuff hanging down at the waist of the bare legs. And then the leg armor with the nice points on the end of them all the way down to the feet where you can see their toes with their big black toenails that look creepy and stuff. So very nice looking work overall, just very creepy looking, but silly at the same time. But I do really enjoy the design. So for moments, the head can twist all the way around there and then can look down that far and up that far. So just a little range there. Shoulders can come up about 45 degrees. They're not much at all because of the armor design and rotate around within there. We get a bicep twist as well, a double elbow joint that can bend mostly up on itself. So pretty good. Wrist can twist around and flex back and forth. We do have an ab crunch up in there. We can't really see it, but can crunch back and forth and can twist side to side as well. Hips can come up 90 degrees out to the side of the far thigh twist around in there. A double knee joint that can bend up that far in the back. Not too bad. And then the foot can rock back and forth and twist side to side. So overall, it's got pretty good movements. Like probably some of the best movements out of any of the figures so far, because it's not limited too much. Just mostly the shoulders are the only issues. And he comes with some additional accessories. So we get some weapons. So we have a goblin spear as it's labeled through like the official props of Lord of the Rings, but it could just be an orc spear, whatever, you know, it doesn't really matter too much, but it's got the nice barb point there on the end of it. And then the nice material that you can see, it's got all sorts of like texture and stuff to it around it, which looks awesome. We get a goblin sword or again, an orc sword could be just a nice piece of metal here. That's been mostly flattened out with points added to it, some serrations there. And then the handle I like is right in there, but you could also hold on to it here. So that's pretty cool. And then we also get an additional head with the helmeted piece. So again, with some more of that armor piece covering its head, but you can see the eyes in there again, looks exactly like the other one just has the additional armor on it as well. So with this additional weapons and accessory and stuff, you can kind of army build these. So let me go and set up a couple characters. So I did buy two of them so I could at least have a little bit of an army. Of them. So I left the normal looking one without the helmet with the spear since it's more of a longer range. And then the other one I gave the sword and put the helmet on since the sword is shorter range. So he has that additional armor on there. So both of those look very cool together, but I am surprised how tall these figures are. So I will throw them in with a bunch of the other figures so you can see all the height differences, but I am surprised how tall they are exactly. I thought they'd be shorter like the dwarves or maybe like the hobbits, but they're actually taller than both of those. But the coolest thing I was correct that now with this set, we finally are able to complete our Sauron. So it's a 13 inch Sauron and Sauron of course is the Dark Lord, the creator of the rings of power. Of course he created all the rings. He gave three for the elves, seven for the dwarves, nine for the men, and the one ring for himself to control all of the others until Isildur ends up cutting the one ring off his finger and his physical body was destroyed. Now it's said in real life, he's actually nine feet tall, but figure wise he's 13 inches tall. So I don't know exactly what sort of scale they're going with, but he looks pretty cool all in the dark gray metal. Of course has the nice helmet with the pointy spikes up on top of it. He has the eye holes and like little nose slits there with a nice helmet point coming down to the front. I know it's going to be hard to see some of this. Maybe I can zoom in here a little bit. And then we got his nice shoulder pads here, nice big spikes and everything going into the armor all the way down the center, armor going down the hands where we can see on this hand, he does have the one ring there on his finger, which is really cool. And again, armor continues all the way down his body to his feet. So he's got all these nice spikes and stuff hanging off here where he has the cape hanging down in the back. So we got a cape and then he also has the mace in his hand, which is really cool that he comes with that. So that came with the org and then we got an arm and a leg with Aragorn. So that allowed us to finish this up. Now this figure is really cool, but he does have some issues like movements and stuff. Like when you move stuff, stuff pops up or like he doesn't really stand up too well because his feet are kind of like curved on the bottom, as you can see. So you try to stand him and he kind of like rocks back and forth. So I don't like that too much, but we can try his movements. So his head can rock back and forth there and twist around side to side. His shoulders can move a little bit, but every time you move the shoulders, these things pop off the shoulder pauldron pieces. So they pop off and that's really annoying, but the shoulders then allow can move in there, can come up about 90 degrees and everything. He has a single elbow joint that bends about 90 degrees there and has the rotation and the wrist can twist around and flex back and forth. He has an ab crunch in the middle there so he can crunch back and forth. I do have a little like catching piece on the back that kind of catches me. So that stops it sometime, but otherwise he does crunch really good and twist side to side. His hips can come up just a little bit there. That's about as far as I can get him and out to the side. Does have the thigh twist up in there. A single knee joint that can bend up that far in the back about 90 degrees. And then the foot can rock back and forth a little bit and twist a little side to side. And just so I can show you how the cape went on. So there was this piece that popped out here and it has the hole slits that went into the cape there. So they don't always put through very well, but you just slide this through and then just push the cape into the back slot there. And it kind of sticks in there. Not the best. It does fall off a lot, but it does stick in there. So it's awesome that we got the figure. You know, I was surprised we even got a Sauron just because, you know, I thought because it's so big or it'd be like a deluxe figure that costs a lot more money, but it's awesome that we got it as a build a figure. So you can get this giant figure with all your other characters and stuff. But I just wish he was 
constructed a little bit better so he'd like stand up a little bit easier and everything so I'm gonna have to worry with him on my shelf of him possibly falling over and killing my entire shelf. I think he does look really cool though. So there is all of our Lord of the Rings figures together so you can see how everything kind of measures up with how tall Sauron is there in the back compared to our man Aragorn, Elf Legolas, and Dwarf Gimli. Of course our shortest character is Gollum. Of course I do have him kind of crouched a little bit there and you can see just how tall the orgs are. I guess they are about the same height as Gimli so not too bad there and then our ring right there in the back should be about as tall as Legolas and Aragorn. So very cool overall. I think this is awesome. So now I can't wait for the next wave when we get an orc eye and Gandalf so that'll be cool complete even more of our characters and then I don't know if they're doing another build a figure. I thought that would come with pieces to finish off Sauron but obviously we got all the pieces already so I don't really know exactly what's going on with those if we're getting build figures at all or anything but I just think it's so cool and like I said these figures just look so good I wish the, you know figure wise they were better you know better built and designed and everything but the looks of them I think are just so spot on that I just think they're so cool and I love these figures so much but let me know what you thought of these figures down in the comments and if you enjoyed my review let me know with a thumbs up but I want to thank y'all for watching I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review